Every time my parents come back from home, my brother and I need to run, run from the house to come up and get the groceries. We need to run all the way back home and come back again to get more. It takes a lot of work. Now what we do is spray all the groceries with alcohol. Then we have to flip it over and spray it again. We often get confused if we flipped it or not. It takes a lot of time to do this work. I wish there was a better way to do it. So we decided to make something that can help us do this job. Our first idea was we got a box, then we had two racks to make a rack compartment. Then we put our groceries inside the compartment and then we used our, the other spray bottles to spray alcohol through the racks while the compartment is spinning to flip the groceries while it's spinning. Some problems and challenges we had this, with our first design was that there are a ton of different size groceries. Like if we have a jar of pickles versus a, a a uh, jug of milk. Those are different sizes, so we need to have this a specific size so it can fit all the groceries. The second problem, it, was, it might be too heavy to roll. All these groceries inside might be too heavy for a person to just crank this and to let the inside roll. And then another problem is that things might fall off. These two racks, groceries might fall out when it's turning, and that wouldn't be good because you couldn't sanitize the whole thing. And then one of the main problems of this is the material challenge. If this is heavy and you have this point and this point, it needs to be very thin and also needs to be very strong. So we need to find a material to make sure that can happen. So I'm not sure if this design will work because of these challenges. To make the rolling part easier, we thought we should use a cylinder shaped container to roll our groceries in and so that the groceries wouldn't fall out. But the challenge was, what should, what material should we use for this cylinder? So we needed to have a strong protection around the cylinder so the groceries won't get damaged and it can also roll smoothly. I looked around my house and I couldn't find any good materials. So I was thinking if we added tires around the cylinder, it would naturally protect the cylinder inside and it can roll smoothly using the tires and it'll also it also won't damage the groceries inside another update i made was that i added an angle to the sprayer so it can get a uh, bigger coverage of the cylinder so as we knew what, we're, what we were going to do we made our machine we used corrugated plastic sheet and tires to build the base then we started building the caps on the side to construct the structure. As we finished building it, we decided to test it. Now we didn't need to bring the groceries all the way into the house. We can just enter the gate and put them into the machine. After that, we put the cap on and it was ready to go. The sprayer was also set and was ready to spray. The sprayers were inside and we're spraying to make sure all the groceries were exposed and were cleaned. We also found another amazing invention that we could use this machine for, a backyard roller coaster. The person inside spins around and round while being pushed down a hill. Hopefully after the pandemic, we can use this for more fun. Thank you for watching.